What's good, boys and girls? It's your boy back with another reaction video. I'll be reacting to three true disturbing chat room horror stories. I've been in a few chat rooms in my day. Uh, it was a chat room back in the day. I remember I I didn't start it. My cousins, the way actually my friend, our friend started and my cousin started doing it on his own, but. Uh, Let's talk to girls and chat. I can't even remember the chat room. It was like instant messenger or some shit. But uh but yeah, we be talking on there. And uh I remember the time where he um my friend, he had a chat room and he was like, Yeah, you should come see me and all that stuff. So she went so he went to go see her and he took another friend of ours. He said he went to and both of them are black. So I'm saying they're race because race kinda plays a role in it. Uh, they went to a town, and this is in the south, by the way. I think they said they went to, like, Alabama, or might have been, I can't remember, Alabama and Louisiana. That was on opposite different sides of the state of Mississippi, which we were in. But I, it was one of them, and he went through the town. He said as soon as he got in the town, he got poured over. <laughs> it's like... And apparently he said, all oh, he saw was white people. So he kept going. <laughs> he went in there and he went to the girl's house. And earlier he said he stayed outside. He went up there. The girl, I think he said, she said she was 19 or something like that. She was 14. And he was like, oh my God. And the thing was her dad came out. So I don't know what this girl's plan was or what was supposed to happen, but she was like, but she could, he said she answered the door and then her, if I remember correctly, she answered the door and her father came to the door and Kat was like, who the fuck are you? Like, <laughs> it's like, and he was like, uh, oh, he just said, sorry, wrong house. I thought this was different. So he just left and then my other guy, he just said, he just started laughing. <laughs> I was like, you went all the way over there. He drove, I think he said he drove for like two hours or something like that. And I was like, you went all the way away that guy. And then he said when he was leaving, he got pulled over again. Like, it was like, so I was like, wow. Like, I was oh my God. I mean, I've already, I've got pulled over like that in towns where they like, they don't like black people coming through. You get pulled over and they just give you a ticket for anything. And then you go to court. So you got to go to that town and go to court. And they're still be like, yep, it's valid. I don't, I don't care what you had to say. And then you still got to pay the money. So people just don't even go to court. They know they're going to lose anyway. But uh, I never got a ticket. And I thought he got pulled over. And uh, he tried to say that I think I did a rolling stop or some shit. And I didn't. And for some reason, he didn't give me a ticket, which was funny because uh, one of my cousins went through there. And they say he was speeding. I think they say he was on like five miles over speed. Like, gave him gave him a ticket. I think he said for a hundred and twenty something dollars or something like that. I think he said hundred twenty something. Maybe hundred thirty. I was like, wow, five miles is even if he was like <laughs> most cops in most states don't pull people for going five miles over speed. Like, <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, uh, I remember I got a chick's number. I was in the I was at PlayStation. I think it was at a PlayStation three at the time and it was the, it was like a chat room they had they used to have on playstation where you build like an avatar and you, or you build up yourself or whatever however you wanted to look and you have a house and stuff like that. and i think is you you get points by unlocking uh like trophies and stuff again i think because i remember i got some stuff and i was able to put stuff in my apartment <laughs> i had that whole thing my friend was over there in my room was this when i was just I was still in uh, the military and I was in my dorm room and my friend was in there with me and he saw me playing it and I walked up to a chick and she was, and we started talking back and forth and, and we and she gave me a number and the thing and my friend was like what is happening <laughs> he was like what is this because <laughs> he had never seen it. <laughs> so we started talking like on the phone <laughs> He was like, what? I he's, a, he's doing some virtual reality type shit. 
Oh, she was that sweet person. We didn't date her. Anyway, we're talking about <laughs> over five minutes. All right, let's get into this. Here we go. Why does it like I'm getting redder? Does it feel like it's getting hotter in here? The temperatures, I know the temperatures going up outside. Is is a nice 45 degrees. 2010 and 2011, when websites like Chat Roulette were popular, my friends and I would sometimes mess around with people on our webcam. The website usually peaked on weekend nights, and when we were like 14, we didn't really do much on weekend nights. So I had my friend Peter over, and we hopped on Chat Roulette. It was just my mom home. So we went upstairs with the laptop where we could be as loud as we wanted. We acted like two idiots. So I need to get some girls. sound proven because I'd be yelling. To anyone My neighbor says she can hear me. So basically, on chat roulette, you'd press. I thought you were talking about. Match you with someone else, anyone else using their webcam. Some girl who appeared to be a couple years older than us popped up. Her camera quality wasn't the best, and she was sitting in a dark room with a blue light filling a decent amount of it. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty tiny details over what Peter and I said to her, but we acted like douchey, mean teenage boys to be frank. Then Peter said, who is that behind you? I suddenly looked beyond the girl to see what he was talking about. I didn't see anyone, so I caught on that he was joking. She seemed to know he was messing with her right away too, saying something along the lines of us being little dweebs. Peter insisted to the girl he was being serious, and I played along with it. Oh, the girl shit. turned around, and like the two of us, she didn't see anyone behind her. All I could see behind her was the rest of the room, which appeared to be a mess, and her bed tucked in the corner of the room. Peter said there was someone hiding behind her bed. I looked at Peter, trying to hold in the laughter, and make it seem like see, I was Peter looked at him, I was like... Then I finally noticed someone in the background, by the back wall of the girl's room. Oh, oh. He was coming out from behind the bed, seemingly trying to be inconspicuous. My smile disappeared as I then realized Peter wasn't joking around. I started telling her that someone was actually sneaking up behind her. Realistically, I assumed it was her brother or something messing with her, trying to scare her. So I said that. I said, it looks like your brother is trying to scare you. She finally turned around and her reaction was not what I was expecting at all. She screamed at the top of her lungs and jumped back out from her chair onto the desk, crawling backwards while frantically kicking her feet at the person approaching her. We could hear the sounds of books and other items falling from her desk as she kicked and screamed. Her webcam started to shake as all we could see of her was her legs. The person in her room got an arm's reach of her and now we could see a black mask over his face. He grabbed the girl and kept screaming, shut up, and her screams only got worse. Wow. Peter and I were silent now, simply staring, not knowing what to make of Because like, what can you do? The man then looked into the webcam from behind his black mask for a second, and a few seconds later, the screen went dark, and we connected to another random person. Peter and I looked at each other. We closed out from the website and sat there to talk and take that in for a second. It must be a Maybe prank, it bro. It possible it could have been a prank. <laughs> A lot of people on YouTube at the time played pranks on people on chat roulette to get some crazy reactions, but it looked real, almost too real to be a performance. Well, a few days later, I got a text from Peter. It was a link, a link to a news article about a teenage girl who had been murdered while home alone a few days back. We told our parents because we wanted to be able to give a description of what happened to the police. So our parents coordinated a time for us to sit down with the two investigators to explain everything we saw. I mean, what? We said we were on chat roulette with a blonde girl who looked either 16 or 17, and that some average-sized looking man wearing a black ski I mean, mask emerged from the back corner of her room and started what to can attack you really her on camera, say? but only for so long until he turned off the computer. We gave the best description we could. Whether they believed us or not, or whether the information helped or not, was something we honestly never found out. One winter night when I was 17, <laughs> I thought that was my computer. brilliant <laughs> idea of exploring the deep web after hearing all the craze about it. Everybody and their mother was claiming how the deep web was some dangerous, crazy part of the internet that nobody should ever go to. Others said these people didn't know what they were talking about, 
and that the deep web is actually extremely boring and uninteresting. I wanted to do some browsing out of curiosity. I needed to download a special web browser called Tor, which allowed you to visit websites ending with a dot. As far as I know, deep web is just what criminals do. When I had the browser, I didn't know where or how to start, so I googled where to start on the deep web, and that gave me a page full of archived links to the deep web. The page scrolled down forever. There must have been thousands of links. I finally decided to click on one. It was a dot onion link that led to another archive of links. It took a while to load, but there I was, on another page of probably thousands of links. Only the background to this page was now black, and the links were red. I scrolled down until I found a link to a chat room. This also took forever to load, but I think it was called Backdoor Fire Chat or something. I put in a quick username, ABC1234, and I was entered into the chat. How creative. There appeared to be only three people in the chat, but messages from hours, even days before, were still in the chat log. Most of the messages people left were links. Hardly anyone had been seeing what the Never links led to. click on some link that you don't know. One of the other users, whose username was something ominous, like username 157 or something, said something directed to me. He asked what I was looking for. I thought for a second, then typed out, I'm looking for the darker part of the deep web. I'm looking for a good time. You he didn't see. say anything for a minute. Then he posted a link. He didn't say what the link was to, so I asked. Of course you both. I waited another minute for him to respond. But instead, he apparently signed out from the chat so that it was just me and one other person. So I clicked on the link, and I swear it had to have taken at least two minutes for the page to finally load. It was an unlabeled website with a black background and a banner Damn, what you got, AOLs? of the living room with a red satanic symbol drawn on it. All the text seemed to be written in some weird language. It seemed to be Hebrew characters. There were also a bunch of buttons, also written in whatever language this was at the top of the page. Joy of Satan. I clicked one of the middle buttons, and after a Stop long clicking on shit. black chat room took over the screen. Messages with more of the Hebrew or whatever language filled the chat room. In one of the messages, though, two words stuck out that were written in text I could actually read. The words were my first and last name. Oh, shit. I tried to exit the chat, but my mouse started to lag. Oh, then the other user in the chat room posted a picture of my face. It was clearly taken just now through my webcam. Oh, my webcam's and he sent covered. another and another. Constant picture showing my horrified face. Basically Do a hard shutdown. Screen. I tried moving the mouse and clicking out of the browser, but it was frozen. And my computer just kept making the error noise as more messages I couldn't read were sent, as well as more pictures of my face. I pressed down the power button on the laptop for like 10 seconds, and it finally turned off. Even turning off the laptop seemed to take longer than usual. My heart was still racing though, and I still had goosebumps. <laughs> That's weird. I left my computer off for 12 hours and put a post-it note over my webcam from there on. I also deleted Tor and never visited the dark web again. The people just fucking with you. And some hackers just, oh, they took this asshole and tell me he wanted dark part of the fuck with you. Just Remember that little feature on the original Nintendo DS called Picto Chat? It was like a little no. chat room you could join with anyone else using a DS within a certain range. I guess because I never had the a house DS. is right down the block from the town street in our neighborhood, what with all the pubs and festivities and such. When I was 12, the Nintendo DS was really in its prime, especially the Pokemon games. There was a spot in town down the block from me, tucked between a couple stores with a few benches that I'd walk to all the time to meet up with my friend Carl, so that we could battle in Pokemon usually. Actually, it was a spot where a lot of kids would be walking around with their DS's. One night, instead of playing Pokemon, Carl and I were just messing around on the Picto Chat feature, sending each other inappropriate right, their pictures and showed you just like, oh, this is on. tight. I remember taking note of how much the leaves were starting to sway nearby, how the wind was apparently starting to pick up. Then, we both got the ding that would sound when someone else would enter the chat. It also said on the screen, now entering, Joe. Carl and I looked up at each other, smiling, because it was funny but weird that someone else had joined. We looked around our immediate surroundings. How is it weird? That's what it's that made square for. between buildings that we were sitting in, but it was a little dark to see anything outside of the light hanging from the side of one of the buildings. So we went along with it. 
I wrote, hey Joe, with my stylus. He responded back with keyboard text saying, hey. So Carl wrote with his stylus, where are you? Joe sent back a message and more keyboard text saying, I see you. Carl and I looked up at each other once again since it was obviously a strange thing for him to say. Not if he can actually again. see you. Joe sent another message saying, you guys come here a lot, don't you? Oh boy, here we go. I wrote back this time using the keyboard instead of Freedraw, saying, yeah, who are you and where are you? Then, this Joe person sent a picture. It was some squiggly, fluffy looking objects. My first guess was that it was a cloud. I typed back, is that a cloud? Joe said no, guess again. I typed back why. He typed back, it's where I'm hiding. For the third time, Carl and I exchanged glances. Carl screamed out finally, who's out there? I looked back down at the DS and saw another picture from Joe. It was similar to his last picture, but more detailed. I sent my second guess. Is it a bush? I said. Then I heard a chuckle. It sounded like right on top of me. I knew Carl heard it too because we once again looked at one another. But then, I saw his eyes focus on something behind me. I turned and saw some guy slowly standing up from a big bush no. and sat behind Boy, my bench. Fucking pedo. He towered over me, and as he looked down at me, he had on a very wide smile. I remember his teeth were small and his gums took up most of his smile. Then, he put both his hands on my shoulders, oh, not in a gentle way. He grabbed my shoulders and squeezed them with a tight grip, and I screamed. Carl and I ran for like, our bikes. Fuck off me! As I initially started <laughs> to pedal, desperately trying to pick up speed, I heard the clonking of the man's footsteps behind us. Thankfully, we picked up enough speed and got back into public view on the road. And only then did I look back. The man wasn't following us. We went straight to my house and told my mom and dad, who forbid me from going to town alone at night anymore. <laughs> Child they killed Carl's parents to recommend they do the same to their son. Uh, don't tell me how to I raise my kid. put that restriction on me. There's no way I would have ever gone back to that spot overnight. It actually freaks me out to wonder how many times that guy had to have watched us on our DSs. Yes. Yeah, to have known when to come, and with one of his own. Yeah, that's like he was watching you, saw you had a DS. All the DS, but how would he know you were in a chat room? That's the thing, like, you could have been just playing a game. That was, that last one was weird. <laughs> just like, big ass smile, just joker smile, like grab you by your shoulders. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Out of an uppercut, just shoot. Oh my god, yeah, man. Yeah, you gotta be careful out there. People, it's crazy people everywhere, all the time. Ain't, ain't shit changed. It's been crazy people 10,000 years ago. It's crazy people today. It's crazy people out there who wish ill will on you. And you need to be prepared to uppercut the shit out of <laughs> them. Kick them in the, in the dick or punch them in the breasts or whatever. To get away. <laughs> oh, wait, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm in this. So I hope you all enjoy my action one. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. You did not hit that thumbs up button anyway. Make sure to comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'll see y'all next video. Peace.